Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. As you can see behind me, I've been doing some extensive testing with the uh, the new cryo part. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, I guess let's jump in. Let's just start seeing what we've done with it and what we've learned so far. All right, so there's a lot to get through here today. So we're just going to start up here up front. Uh, what I've done is I've just put the part down and just to see what the part does, how it reads with ambient temperatures uh, with an on signal. And you can see we're reading 29 degrees on both sides. Uh, that is our ambient air temperature right now. Uh, and you can see we've got that on our dials here. Uh, so what I've done is I've taken that part and I've just moved it over and I've gotten a closed loop on it. And you can see that we've got no difference in change here uh, just by closing the loop. Uh, so we keep coming over, uh, we move one over, and now we have pumps that are working on this. And our numbers are still exactly the same because there's no, there's nothing flowing through this to even to even work. So now we move over one, one more, and you can see that I've added uh, water to our hot side here. So now our, our hot side is has a liquid flow going through it, and our cold side now still has air, and you can see we have dropped down to just under zero degrees, which is kind of crazy because we've gone from doing nothing to literally freezing temps in this pipe here. Uh, now I've added liquid just to see what would happen. I've added another tank here to our, our side here that's cooling. And you can see that it almost kind of, it, it kind of breaks it a little bit. Now it is still cooling this liquid. Um, it's not as good as that, but it is cooling that liquid in comparison to like the air temperature, which is a lot hotter. But as you can see, as this system is moving, it's also generating heat on the other side as well. Uh, so it's just heating up this side, which is kind of interesting. So we do have a little bit of a cooling effect there with liquid in the tank, but it's a lot better when there's nothing in the coolant side. Uh, so I wanted to test a little further and I went a little bit more and I put a radiator on the side of the heat and you can see it does bring it down by like one degree here. Uh, it's it's not a lot. It's it's interesting to see that our, our temperature is on top. We had, we're back now to what would be an ambient temperature in the air uh, and we've gotten a lot cooler here, but uh, interesting that the machine running produces some heat. Uh, so coming back over here, this is our most efficient system. So what I've done is I've actually, you can see we've, we've branched off here and we can kind of follow the yellow brick road here, uh, is I've tried to see how efficient we can make it. So this is, this is the same system that we had right here. Uh, nothing's changed. Uh, here we've got two piggybacked. We've got three piggybacked. We've got four. We've got five. And then I went ahead and just increased by 10. And then we've looped it back because I've seen some interesting numbers sometimes when they're when they're looped back like this. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at these numbers here. Uh, as you can see, we are all down into the negatives, almost right at, right at freezing, negative one. Uh, we're getting pretty close to it. And all of our numbers are on top are exactly the same. Uh, now, when I spawn this in, uh, this side here, the smaller one actually actually activates a lot faster than these. Now we are reading the same temps on all of these, but why add more money and more parts to your system when something small like this actually works? Uh, so yeah, we are literally just, uh, we got freezing pipes with this. Um, so there was no reason to do all this. I mean, it, it does work. It's just more money for your build. Uh, it does add more aesthetic to things, I guess, if you want to do that. Uh, it doesn't take away from your cooling ability. It just makes it a little bit slower. Uh, but what we did is we uh, we grabbed this one here because this one worked and we started doing some more testing. Uh, so over here, we've got the same system, but we've got it with a radiator. We've got the same system here with 10 of them with radiators. And you can see we're kind of reading the same numbers here. And then over here, I wanted to see what would happen if we added air to the system because this is a closed loop and I wanted to kind of simulate, well, what if we had a room attached to it? So that's kind of what I'm simulating here with the with the gas bottle here. And you can see we've kind of gotten down a little bit, but we're still doing better with this one. So I don't know where to go with this. The information is a little weird here. Uh, so we kind of grabbed this one and we went with this because we are trying to build something off of it. Uh, so that's where we're going from that. Uh, so we are getting cold here, which is nice. So we extended off of this and now we are working on building some side rooms onto these. And the numbers are getting kind of interesting here. So you can see that we're not venting this room here and we're down to 21, 21 degrees, 22 degrees here on just the actual system here with the closed little room here. 
Now, we're gonna need ventilation because we're human and we need air to breathe. So we have to have some sort of ventilation on the actual room. Uh, well, that changes the temperature quite a bit, as you can see. So we've gone back up to almost uh, what feels like ambient ambient room or ambient air temperature. Uh, we're just a, a degree cooler. Uh, so the other thing that it did is, okay, well, let's try this. Let's, uh, let's put a vacuum on the system. And that's what this is here. Well, it's not actually cooling the room down, but it is bringing our system back down to zero. So I don't know what to use this information here. This information is really confusing. I don't know where to go from that. It just, I, I don't know. Like it, we're, we're able to cool some stuff. Like this is great. Like if we're storing stuff, you know, great, whatever. So what do we do here? Well, it is cooling. Let's uh, let's stack this the same way we kind of started stacking these to see if this would, uh, this would help. So here we are, we are stacked up back here. Uh, this is our system here. We are at 23 degrees compared to our, where were we? Our 28. So we have gone down by five degrees, which is nice. Uh, still not great. I mean, 23 is, uh, what is that for our Fahrenheit people? That's 73 degrees. We, we've literally brought a room down to comfortable. I mean, so that's not great. We're not going to be doing any refrigeration with this either because like, what is this really for? Is this for refrigeration? Are we going to have to refrigerate our fish? Uh, is that going to make our fish have more value if they are fresher when they come back to the dock? What else could this be for? Uh, are they going to implement the ability to where we start taking damage when it's too hot? The same way we start taking damage when it's too cold. Do we start, start have to making air conditioned rooms for this? I don't know. This is great. This would keep us cool. Uh, so this system here works great just fine. This would keep us cool, but we're, there's, we're not refrigerating. So I kind of want to get to the point where we're starting to look into the refrigeration direction. Uh, so here we are. We are at 11 on this one. And the only thing different that I've done is, let's see, where are we at here? This one, let's go back to this one. As you can see, we are on top. The only difference between this one and this one is where I've placed the pumps. As you can see, this is how I've started this entire line running all the way down all of here. Uh, I have had the pumps on the out port of the system and it's kind of working. We're getting 184 liters a second on the A and 20 something on B. But when we swap them behind, you end up getting 600 on the A and a little bit more on the B side. Uh, so this is working a lot better. And as you can see, we are down to 11. On the refrigeration is it can i call this a refri refrigeration because this is getting down to 51 degrees for us uh we're in fahrenheit that's still not good enough to keep your food great um but that is a lot lot colder than than we were working with before so these are these are actually pretty decent numbers here and all i've done is it's just 10 of them stacked up uh little water tanks and honestly this kind of looks like the back of a fridge a little bit with the uh the coil system that's going on here um, so I tried to mess around a little bit. I tried moving the pumps, uh, even the, you know, the 600 liter on the back side. Uh, we put our pump back on this side and it didn't get much changes here. So this is just kind of a, this is kind of null. I just wanted to see what would happen. But so far this system here is working the best. So with that, I feel like we could build some sort of refrigeration system, a walk-in cooler or something like that. Uh, maybe if we, I guess if we stack this up, we could get this down a lot colder. Maybe, um, let me do that. Let me grab this and then we'll uh, we'll rebuild this to where there's a lot more of these and we'll see if this number can get down a lot lower. All right, so here's our system. Let's go ahead and just double this up by this. Nope, let's go down with it. Let's make a mess of it here. Hang on, take you down as far as you can go. There we go, we're gonna paste you. Now let's do it again. Okay, so let's get rid of this whole layer here. Now that we've cleaned it up, we can bring it down, paste those two together, paste, merge the, that, that, and that. We can put that in. Uh, does everything look right in here? It sure does. Uh, so that is stacking it with 20. Um, well, let's see what kind of numbers this does. I guess we could put a door here since we're talking about making it a walk-in cooler. There is our door. Now we can walk inside of it. Let's go ahead and spawn that. And it should start cooling. It's not super fast, so it's gonna take a little bit to uh, to get this going. Uh, so we'll let this run for a bit. And then the other thing I wanna test is if we open the door, do we lose all of our cold air? Does it flow out or does it stay in the room kind of like the rest of our uh, liquids do? 
but let's let this run for a minute and then uh we'll be back with you and we'll see what it does all right it's been a few minutes here and i say a few minutes it's been about maybe 10 minutes i've been sitting here watching it fall and it's gotten down into uh gotten down to the nines which is great uh we are stacked up pretty high here though and i've noticed that my frame rate is dropping a lot with the system running uh, i'm wondering if there's there needs to be some optimization here with some of these uh some of these parts but uh it looks like it still wants to drop i bet we could still get a little further uh because it is still going but i just want to do a little test here i want to open the door and see if we lose any of this cold uh from our walk-in cooler here uh so door wide open oh yeah, yeah yeah look at that look at that we lost a bunch of cold air uh by doing that it was trying to balance out hmm so uh we might have to have some sort of double system here where you have another set of doors uh and you, you kind of keep one area cool and then you keep the second area cool almost like a uh like a dry hatch or like a a, a wet room what is the word i'm looking for when you go diving you got the they got the little separation room uh you see it a lot in northern uh houses as well you have like the the front door opens up into an area where your coats and shoes go and then you open the door to the main house it's uh kind of like an area that just keeps the uh the cold air from coming in and out but any cold air that does come out gets trapped into this room and then it kind of has a chance to go back into it so yeah guys there it is we have made a giant walk-in cooler uh we've done some extensive testing on the actual cryo part here today as well uh, a lot of you guys wanted to see some more of that so there it is uh but yeah if you guys have any input on this or have any ways to uh make this a lot better please let me know down in the comments please come over to the discord and share your ideas about this um we're all trying to learn about what this is and what this could be for uh refrigeration bringing rooms down to colder temps um who knows now if i stick an engine in this room will it cool the engine that's another thought if i'm cooling my engines cooling the rooms that my engines are in making the room colder that's kind of like having the engine running in the arctic that might be something we have to test later on as well uh, if you guys want to see that let me know as well down in the comments uh but yeah guys thanks so much for watching i appreciate you 100 and we will see you guys in the next one